I need your expertise. I saw one of this problem. Would you help me, please? I said. Welcome back to another POD with Mr. C. All right, today we're going to work on a problem that I have. Yes, I have many problems, but this one is a mathematics problem, and it's regarding lockers. Now, how many of you out there have lockers? I got this problem when I was working in collaboration with the Ohio State University Math Coaching Program, the MCP program. You can find more information about that down below in the link. And this is your challenge. We have a thousand lockers in this hallway. Ah! The thousand lockers are all closed. There are actually a thousand students in the school as well, and each one of them is going to have a role in this problem. The first student goes through and he opens all of the lockers one at a time until all 1,000 are open. Student two goes through and he changes every other locker. Now the third student comes through and he changes every third locker. So that means if the locker is open, he closes it. If the locker is closed, he opens it. Now a fourth student comes through and now she's walking through and she changes every fourth locker. So my question is this, after all 1,000 students go through and they change the appropriate lockers, and when I say change, I mean open or close, which lockers are going to be open at the end? You can leave a comment if you find the solution, or if you're interested, you can actually post a video response. Most importantly with any solution in mathematics is that we're trying to see what's in your brain. So when you post your comments below, Maybe elaborate a little bit for all of us so that we know what your thoughts were or how you got to that solution. Very, very critical. We want to see what you're thinking. What do you got for us? Help Mr. C solve his POD. Teacher, teacher, I don't know what to do. I'm looking at this problem and I'm feeling real confused, confused. 